then we have certain non absorbable sutures also non absorbable sutures when we are talking about non absorbable sutures the one which stops the list is polypropylene subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder then we have certain non absorbable sutures also non absorbable sutures when we are talking about non absorbable sutures the one which stops the list is polypropylene polypropylene now when we are talking about polypropylene this is marketed by the name of what proline proline is the brand name proline is the brand name always remember it is a monofilament it is a monofilament non absorbable blue color suture non absorbable blue color suture if you talk about the days of absorption if we talk about the days of absorption not non absorbable this is the suture of choice for hernia repair point number 1 it can be used both for fixation of the mesh itself for doing a hernioplasty point number 1 it is a suture of choice for vascular anastomosis vascular anastomosis now when we are talking about vascular anastomosis you often may get a question on what size suture is recommended for what so if a vessel is of caliber equivalent to aorta we will be using 20 for femoral artery for femoral artery we will be using 40 for popliteal artery for popliteal artery or its equivalent we are using 60 for vena cava for vena cava we are using again 40 to 60 yeah 40 to 60 for portal vein for portal vein we are again using the suture equivalent to 5060 so 5060 and this is similar for the vena cava 4050 suture is what we are using for their repair and this is important very 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 important for microvascular anastomosis for microvascular anastomosis if we talk about the answer is we use 10 now 10 is not visible anything beyond 60 you require endo loops next is we also may use it for tendon repair we can use it for tendon repair tendon repair we can also use it for nerve graft for nerve graft repair for nerve graft repair let us see the other non absorbable sutures also in this list we also have one more very popular suture that is uh, polyamide what is polyamide what is polyamide when we talk about polyamide this suture is marketed by the name of ethylon this suture is marketed by the name of ethylon so polyamide is marketed by the name of ethylon it's a monofilament it's a monofilament and what color suture it's a black color suture and what is the beauty of this suture this is ideal for the skin approximation so this is ideal this is ideal for skin approximation point number 1 the second very important point is this is also the suture of choice generally for skin approximation we use 20 we use 30 this is also the suture of choice for bust abdomen repair so whenever we have a bust abdomen with the we have to place retention suture so you we use the rubber shorts and then we use a monofilament number 1 so for bust abdomen repair we use this and this is number 1 polyamide so this is about polyamide the next suture that we have is a polyethylene polyethylene this is also known as this is also known as ethibond ethibond again students where is where are we using this this is a braided suture this is a braided suture and this is really very tough suture it's a gray colored suture and we prefer it for what tendon repairs for tendon repair so it is used for tendon repair it is also used for diaphragmatic hernia repair diaphragmatic hernia repair it is also used for birch colpo suspension birch colpo suspension so i hope you must have heard of this birch colpo suspension which we use or which we this is a surgery that we do for what urinary stress incontinence yeah so actually the pubo urethral ligaments or 
they become weak and we are just recreating that pubourethral ligament support or arches next is we also have nylon this is actually in true sense nylon is the suture of choice for tendon repair so this is what is the suture of choice for tendon repair the next very important thing that we have is we have silk again a very popular very important suture we use a lot of names true silk sutu pack there are a lot of names yeah always remember silk is braided it is again black in color what is the use of the silk silk can be used for multiple purposes for vessel ligation this is ideal for vessel ligation the second important thing it can be even used for anastomosis anastomosis uh, outer layers outer layers it can be used but it is avoided nowadays next is next is earlier all the anastomosis were done with this it is also used for drain fixation it is also used for drain fixations drain fixation yeah it can be used for knottings endo loops etc it can be used silk is again a very good suture so this is about some sutures we also have a very interesting suture which is known as stainless steel what do you mean by stainless steel and what is so important about stainless steel always remember stainless steel is the most inert suture it is the most inert suture and this is ideal for thoracotomy closure so this is ideal for thoracotomy closure the next important thing that we have to understand is a point on tissue glue Thank you.